today I'm going to share with you a recipe which is a very healthy recipe, a healthy version of peseretu. It's made from green moong sprouted. We have sprouted this overnight for two days actually, and it's a very tasty, delicious, yet healthy recipe. For this recipe, I'm going to call my sister because she is the one who introduced us to this recipe. So let's welcome Jyotsna. She has really lost a lot of weight. Hello, welcome. Hey, How are you? Oh, thank you? So what are we going to do first? I think sprouts is one of the healthiest ingredients. Yes. Because here we have a life coming out of a small grain hmm. and it's the closest to nature and it's the best for your health. We'll first grind it, right? Yes. Wait. Born in Andhra Pradesh and I lived there for a couple of years and uh, there's this recipe called Pasiretu. So it's made of whole green moong. Right. And it's a dosa, pasiretu. Mm. But here we have added a twist. We are using sprouts. The same green moong but mm. in sprouted form. So it makes it a little more healthy. So we're going to add some ginger. Yeah. So we'll take sprouts, we'll add ginger. We'll add a khajira. Little green chilies, yes. or should we add black pepper? Either green chilies, black pepper as per your taste. Some people even add whole red chilies. Some coriander. Some we'll use in the batter and huh. some we'll put on the top. Correct. Salt. Hing or asafoetida gives a nice flavour. We're going to add some water. Little by little. Yeah. Because the sprout itself has water content. So okay. it already, when you grind it, it becomes quite soft. So wow. add water less, otherwise it becomes too watery. Hmm. Should it be fine or coarse? Yeah, I think what happens is this nutri blend, the pepper, the ginger, everything gets ground so well. Maybe a little water. So for the last grind, we'll have a perfect batter ready. This is ready now. Nowadays, people are into exercise and gymming, so after that, a perfect protein. If you're a vegetarian, you don't eat eggs, you can have this become really a health fanatic, which is good. Yeah, if you would have seen me in my prior videos with her, then you will know. Yeah, go rewind. Which one was it? One was that ginger mango ice cream, mango ice cream ginger, ginger biscuit, biscuit pudding. So that time I was doing desserts and now I'm doing health food. Health food. So now that our batter is ready, we're going to make it into a chila. So she is the expert at putting the dosa. No, I've learnt it from her. No, no. <laughs> from my mom. Make it thin or thick? Slightly, yeah. This will be a chila if you keep it thick. If you want, you can make it thin like a dosa also. So here we're going to just keep it like this. Like this. Then Getting we're going to add some ghee, na? Yes, so ghee gives a good taste with the chila. Coriander. Coriander. If we are adding some chaat, chaat masala. masala. Just to give it a bit of zing. You can add little green chilli also. Green chillies if you like. In fact, you can sprinkle few of the whole uh, yeah. sprouts also. If you want to, to give, give it, it a crunch. Ha, crunch. So, Chal, let's do this also. Okay. Since we have put all these things on top, we don't need to flip it. So, we'll just cover it a bit. So, that so it the steamed and cooked. Yes. I think we're done, right? Looks good. Nice. Tasty, delicious. Fold mm. it. This is done. We'll make one more because we have a lot of people here to taste. So just do it plain this time. We'll just show you just a very basic chila. Sometimes kids can get fussy. Oh, I don't want this on top. You can add your cheese if you want. Oh. Grated cheese. Yeah, the other day her son had come over to stay. So I made dosa, but Masi, I want cheese dosa. Okay. So he had like cheese dosa. Yeah, so yesterday he was telling me, Alyona Masi grates cheese so fast. In 10 seconds, she has grated the whole <laughs> cheese cube. So this one we'll flip and we'll cook it on both sides instead of covering it. This doesn't get very crisp, right? No. So it's a little soft only. Yeah, it's, soft. it's really nice, but very tasty and delicious. It's like your chila. See, it's cooked on both sides. Absolutely ready to eat. A yummy sprouts chila or dosa or peseratu is ready. I hope you really enjoyed this recipe as much as I enjoyed sharing this recipe with you. And do let us know how it turns out. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye. Bye.
Food, food, it's sizzling.